Hi everyone, it is August 28th, Wednesday afternoon, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody, wherever you're tuned in from and, we love you and we're glad you're here. Let's start today information. Vietnam's Monetary Authority reiterated its plan to keep selling dollars to some banks as a way of intervening in the foreign exchange market to support the local currency, which has fallen to a record low. The State Bank of Vietnam said it will manage the exchange rate flexibly and in accordance with market developments through monetary policy tools and with the sale of dollars, according to a statement on the regulator's website. The Vietnamese dong fell to a record low of $25,470 per dollar this week and has lost nearly 5% in 2024. The central bank last month sold dollars at the intervening price of $25,450 dong per dollar. The regulator also raised the reverse repurchase rate to 4.5% this week delivering its second quarter point hike in the past month in moves seen as efforts to stabilize the dawn. The central bank said the foreign exchange market has been under pressure from unpredictable fluctuations, globally, combined with domestic challenges and difficulties. Still, it expects the supply of dollars to increase due to an export recovery, it added. The likelihood that the U.S. Federal Reserve may cut interest rates by the end of this year will also reduce devaluation pressures on the dong, according to the statement, which cited monetary policy. Head Pham Kai Kuang, Kuang also ruled out recent market speculation about possible changes in the central bank's exchange rate policy and urged caution when dealing with rumors. Today, Second good news is Vietnam's import of mobile phones and components reached over $3 billion during the first quarter of 2024, according to data from the General Department of Vietnam Customs. The country imported more than 3.07 billion worth of mobile phones and components in the period, a 22.4% increase compared to last year. Top suppliers included mainland China, South Korea and Hong Kong. Of which, mainland China contributed over $2.66 billion, a significant jump of 25% compared to the same period last year, while South Korea contributed $134.5 million, a 21% decrease year-on-year. Year. During the period, Hong Kong recorded a significant growth of 275%, or $25.3 million. Other large suppliers included India, the UK, Taiwan, the US, and Japan. Meanwhile, Vietnam exported $18.1 billion worth of mobile phones and components during the first quarter of the year, a 5% increase year-on-year accounting for the second largest export from the country following computers electronic products and components god bless you and take care